Sam Dekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and Radio Biafra director, has revealed the person that addressed Nigerians during the presidential speech to mark Nigeria's 68th Diamond Jubilee 2020. Nam Dekano, the Biafra leader, has said that Nigeria elected President Muhammad Buhari is dead since 2017 and has been buried in Saudi Arabia but has been replaced by someone who wears Buhari's specially prepared mask. Namde Kano faulted why a president of a country will not address his citizens' life but has resorted to pre-recorded deep fixed videos. On the presidential speech, Namde Kano said that Buhari who addressed Nigerians in 2015 October 1st is far different different in facially. Please simply compare and contrast the pre-recorded video that was played this morning with the broadcast of the old dead Buhari and tell me if these two people are the same. Furthermore, he said, please look through his glasses and tell me how a normal human being has three eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. Now they can reveal that the person that addressed Nigerians during presidential speech. Okay, how can somebody uh, has a three different eyelids? Like seriously, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing there? Are you really seeing, or you need a a a, a, a different glasses to look at what Nam Dekano is saying? <laughs> as, as he continues to say that the person that addressed Nigerians during the presidential speech is not Nigeria. It's not a Buhari, rather. The whole thing is just, the whole thing is just, it's, it's the one who knows what he's talking about and he's trying to let Nigerians see reason with what he's saying. But Nigerians say, no, 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 no. No matter what you say, we are not saying anything. This is the same Buhari. Buhari is still alive. And some people are just trying to, to figure out how can the wife continue and the children continue to act as if he uh, is their father what could really be behind this uh, whole thing and some of them are saying that uh, anything could happen as far as nigeria is concerned the more you look the less you see and don't forget some people are of the pioneer that nigeria has not got you know has not uh and nigeria is not sophisticated to that level <laughs> but don't 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 joke with what could really happen in this country do you know a lot of these secrets very, very deep secrets happening in this country that you might not even know. You are not even privileged to know. And you just say, oh, na lie, na lie, na lie. Anything will happen. But just like I, I've been saying, is Namdekano is the one who knows uh, what he's talking about. And if he's been called upon, he will say it. He will be able to prove it. And he has been saying it uh, over and over again. And I think that's one of the reasons why this administration so much hates him. It's not because of uh, maybe the agitation, but... This uh, issue of uh, it is Buhari, it is not Buhari, that is what is really killing them. That um, Namrikano is really hitting the government so hardly. And you know, he's been going as, uh, around the world for as many leaders of the world that care to listen, to be able to explain. And they've been hearing him loud and clear. And that's why the government came out sometime, sometime last month and began to lament. That why is it that uh, this Namrikano is creating problem? Those who love Nigeria, those who love this administration, Namrikano has been able to spoil their mind and they have a negative uh, thought towards Nigeria and the president especially. And they've told them, don't mind him, don't just listen to him. He does not know what he's saying. You know, they began to refer to how he's a Christian or why he's not a Jew or all those stuff. And now that, uh, and I think there are two people now. Uh, T.Y. Danjuma and Enam Dekano, they are really holding them responsible, saying that uh, the international community should not even in any way listen to them. And now Dekano has been on this uh, uh, issue of uh, it is Buari, it is not Buari, it is Buari, it is not Buari, and he's still standing on that. And we are in what year now? In 2020. He started this whole thing in 2017. Hmm. So for how long do these people think they can fool us? Hmm. Well, the song from Unam de Kanu is getting still. Whichever way, whichever way, whichever way, like I said, he's the only one who knows what he's talking about. No other person can say, oh, this is what he's saying or this is not what he's saying. And he has been on this thing. He has not really shifted. He has not shifted his ground. He still maintains on what uh, 
he 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 termed that this is not Buhari, it's a a Jubri a Sudani. <laughs> so very very important for everybody to just keep you know keep his or finger crossed. And also the presidency has told Nigerians to forget about this whole thing that it is not possible that Buhari is still hale and hearty. I remember when Buhari went to Germany, I don't know one of the countries, whether Germany or Brazil, and he met with the the diasporas there. And he was just joking that somebody said he's clone, that somebody said he's not Buhari, and everybody just laughed quack 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 quack. quack. And you know. At times they try to crack juice and you know even though if they are not funny, the people those psycho fans they will begin to laugh, and that was exactly what they said. And they just you know everybody has been trivializing it, but sometimes some people just like could it be could it be so could it not be so? And with a lot of things happening, some people are just trying to see something must be wrong somewhere, but they cannot just really place what actually happened. And you remember that uh, during that COVID nineteen. When the president had to make a did a, a live broadcast once, and the second first one they told us it was a, it was live broadcast. The same American came up came up and said, "No, this is not live. This is not live." Ah, they were saying, "Oh, we have to go and sit down." This and that. Not until when Casalana busted the second time they couldn't do it, and that was when they just stopped this uh, idea of a uh, the president addressing the nation because it was becoming so embarrassing. Not until when there were problems, Femi Additional had to come and agree and confirm that it was a pre recorded uh, broadcast, that it was not live. And people are like, Really? Really? So you guys have been deceiving us. Oh, Indam Dikano could be right all the way. But since then, they just stopped this uh, daily briefing and they just handed it over to. Uh, the tax force, whether uh, whatever tax tra- force they call it. So, yesterday again, he was supposed to uh, do a live broadcast. I think, uh, yes, that was yesterday. And they said, oh, it's, it was going to be in the around 10 a.m. Before he knew it, they just they changed the whole thing and brought it back to uh, 7 a.m. And a lot of people were not even really interested. So, I think again, Namdi definitely. He went again to look at the whole thing thoroughly and he came out with this uh, submission that it is not a Buhari that really addressed uh, Nigerians. And let's know what you think about what he's saying again because he's trying to look at the whole thing thoroughly. Whether Nigerians will believe or not, we have a lot of problems that, you know, have, that we are faced with that Nigerians cannot even try to be looking at or something. Uh, whether it is right or wrong. But whatever you think, let us know in the conversation.